Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through a brief assessment to try and diagnose a possible peroneal tendinopathy. So it's important to understand where the peroneal muscles are. The peroneus longus and brevis are going to run along the outside of the lower leg, and the tendons are going to wrap just behind this knob on the outside of your ankle called the lateral malleolus. So in this groove right here is where you're going to feel those tendons, and commonly that's where you're going to have symptoms if you have peroneal tendinopathy. Um, so the very first thing to do is to apply some firm pressure. You can do this on yourself and just feel if you have any tenderness along those tendons. Sometimes that will go all the way down into the foot where the peroneus brevis inserts. Um, if you have tenderness here with any of the tests, then you may have peroneal tendinopathy and you might benefit from some of the exercises that I'm going to show in the other videos. Uh, you can also see if you can elicit any pain by putting the muscles on stretch. So the peroneal muscles, they plantar flex the foot, so this is neutral, they point the toes, that's plantar flexion. They also evert the foot, and that's going to be bringing the sole of the foot towards the outside, like so. Um, so to stretch this muscle, we're going to put it into inversion, so bringing the foot or the ankle towards the midline, and then you probably need a partner to help with this, and we're just going to bring the foot from plantar flexion into dorsiflexion while maintaining that inversion of the ankle. Again, if that elicits any of that pain, that's what we're looking for. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the foot in plantar flexion, and I'm gonna have Renee here evert the foot and hold that. And then I'm going to resist, um, so we're gonna activate those peroneal muscles. Go ahead and hold that right there. So this, uh, by contracting the tissue there, you might get some pain in that area, and that would be a positive test. Uh, the very last thing, if all these tests are still kind of unclear, um, we can do a single leg heel raise, which I'll show in the next part. Going on to that heel raise and leaning your weight to the outside of your foot will bias the peroneal muscles and may elicit pain in those tendons.